USF researchers say they have discovered almost 20 graves not previously known about by the state of Florida at the Dozier School for Boys. The state reform school closed after multiple adult men came forward saying they were badly abused while students there. Our Carson Chambers joins us now after speaking with one family who wants to bring their loved ones home. This is heartbreaking, Carson. It is, Brendan. 83-year-old Richard Varnado was just a kid when his brother was taken to the Dozier School for Boys on a trespassing charge. A month later, his brother was dead, and his family never got to give him a proper burial. This was a very, very poor family. As you can tell, none of the children are wearing shoes. They're all barefooted. The little blonde boy in the front is Richard Varnado's brother. It's the only photograph he has. This was Thomas Jr. Thomas was just three years old here and just a little older, 13, when a neighbor accused him of stealing a typewriter. One of thousands of children remanded to the Dozier School for Boys in the Panhandle. A state reform school closed last year amid reports of severe beatings. Torture and deaths. He was out there when they picked him up. 38 days after Thomas went to Dozier, he was dead. His family got a letter a week after his funeral. Personally, I don't believe a word of it. His so. death certificate reads pneumonia, that he was buried on school property, but his remains were never counted among the 31 Mark graves known as Boot Hill Cemetery. I have a gut feeling they said. Now USF researchers are revealing there are many more graves at Dozier, at least 19 more so far, that have gone suspiciously unmarked. The black and red uh, rectangles mark the areas where we believe there are burial shafts. The graves stretch deep into the woods, so Dr. Aaron Kemmerly and a team of researchers spent months mapping the property using ground-penetrating radar. Without doing a full excavation, we can't say exactly what's there. School records show as many as 81 boys died at Dozier. USF researchers believe as many as 98 children lost their lives here, including Thomas Farnado Jr., and his family wants to bring him home. This is not about a criminal investigation on Thomas Varnado. It's about disinterring his remains and bringing him home. And there's a lot more work to do. Eventually, USF researchers want to excavate the graves, exhume the remains, and find out how these children died. I'm Carson Chambers. Back to you.